Now what we have to do <coughs> is the back half of the mould, because it's just plaster, needs sealing so we'll use a Vaseline with a pigment in and we'll seal all this plaster and then put the two halves together, bond them together and then we'll fill it with plaster. And because the alginate doesn't stick to anything, the plaster will just peel away from that so we won't need to seal that. That's fine. So it's just simply just apply to the white plaster areas. Very simple. And it goes on reasonably well. Now we've uh, covered this in the petroleum jelly, we'll put the two halves together and then we'll secure it with plaster bandage to keep it all in place. Folded the, the bandage over so it's nice and thick and short and what we'll do with the first piece is we'll just go around this area here just to seal that in. That's where the, uh, the location of the ears will be. And don't push it right down, just kind of let it ease into that gap there. I'm just using my finger to go along that edge. I'm not pushing down, I'm just feeding it along so it doesn't force down because we don't want to force between the two seals. Herculite number two. And why I use Herculite number two is because it's, it's a hard plaster, but it's not too hard, it's a porous plaster, which is good for latex, you know, making a latex mask. But I like to use it because it's got good working time, it doesn't go off too quick, you've got enough time to apply the plaster. Now once that stays there, it soaks up the water, but it doesn't disappear, you still get this little island, then we know we have enough plaster in the water. It doesn't be, have to be too big, it's just that little centre part there is the indicator showing that that's it, we've got enough plaster in the water, as you can see. And that's what you're waiting, that's what you're looking for. Just a small island of the plaster just poking above the water. And once it's soaked into the plaster, as you can see now it's soaked in, then we go in there and mix it all around and remove any lumps. Use your fingers to feel if there's any dry lumps in there, plaster. Make sure it's all broken up and mixed equally into the water. Right, now we have our plaster mixed and it's ready, well, it's ready now to be poured into the mould. What we've done is we've put, put the mould into a bucket to keep it all stable because we don't want it rolling around on the table there. Just keeps it all in place. And all we do is we just pour in the plaster, pour half in out of the bucket. And what we'll do now is just wash this around, making sure it gets into every little part of the detail of the life cast. Move it around carefully. And what you'll see is if you can see inside, they think it's, like it's not sticking to the, the back part of the mould that's been treated with release agent. What we do now is we pour in the rest of the plaster. As you can see, it's quite thick now and creamy. Pour the rest of this in. This is the uh, this is the mucky part. And I'll do is get my hand in there now. Uh, what I grab, kind of grab the the plaster and bring it up around and coating every surface inside the mould. It's thickening up quite fast now. We can still use it as it's thickening. It's easier to apply to the surface. As you can see it's quite thick now, but it's still pliable. Tilt it over, just make sure you work it into all the, the areas. 
Now this time, I'm mixing the plaster. I'm not going to wait this time for it to thicken up. Once it's all mixed in, while it's still thin, what we do now is, well first, which is a good idea, is just get a bit and just wash it around. What this does helps to key the next layer. Just, uh, That's getting quite warm in there though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, at the very bottom I can feel the heat now building up. So this is probably about the right time to do this next layer now. So that will set that one off even quicker? It, it will set it off pretty quick. If we was filling this solid, you know, it wouldn't be good because you're going to cause cracking. But because we're only putting a layer in now, um, it's absolutely fine. And the good thing is as well, it's hard enough and not going to disturb anything. It's not going to crack as we're working on it. Now, now I've wetted all that surface surface out, we get the cloth, um, the burlap, we put it into the, the plaster and work the plaster into the burlap really well. And squeeze all the air out of it and then just drop it back in. And then do the same the second piece. And do one at a time, don't put them all in at the same time, otherwise you end up with one big lump. We want to keep them all separate. Squeeze the plaster out, squeeze the air out of it, and then just drop it back in. Alright, then you just take them out, one at a time obviously. Don't screw it right out, just get rid of some of the excess, and then just go ahead and apply it into your mould. What we're going to do is just work it right down into this mould, work it into the facial area and you just want to try and work all the the air out of it. Supposing you're working upside down, I, yeah. I would have instinctively turned it face down so you know everything hangs in but it doesn't matter does it? No. It's, it seems like you can just work it in no, it's absolutely fine. upside down. Next piece. Let it lower it in there. Just work it in into all that plaster. Because you'll find that it's quite uneven inside this piece at the moment where my fingers were scraping it back. So you must make sure this material goes into every little crevice so there's no air pockets. Right, so now, now it's all set up, <clears throat> it's all gone nice and hard, we're ready to release the positive head from the mould. And this is the alginate I put onto the front of it to seal up the nose and the mouth area where the plaster bandage came across. And just, uh, just helps to seal that up, the plaster. So what we do now is we'll go and get a blade and then we'll cut the plaster bandages and then we'll pull the uh, piece apart. Right, now we just simply cut through the plaster bandage, which is not that difficult really. As you can see comes away quite easily. find is that the plaster bandage, the mother mould, the original mother mould will peel away as you, as you can see here, it will just peel away and that's the best way to do it so you don't damage anything. 
it seems to pull away quite easily, as you can see. So what this will do is it will leave us then with just the alginate. Because we finished with this now, this mother bolt's done its job. Smell the alginate, smell the minty, the minty flavour of the alginate. And this alginate will peel off quite easy now. Just kind of pick away at it a bit. As you can see, breaks away. Quite, mm. It's quite brittle now. Yeah. You might need a tool to get some of this out, but yeah. I'll fetch a little tool in a minute and we'll fetch the rest of that out of there. But as you can see, it's all come out really well. Huh. That's the front half. That's great. It's superb. Absolutely <laughs> great. And what we'll do now is we'll, the same process, pull away the back half. This is where you've got to be careful now because ideally the thing to do is to set it on some foam, the front half, otherwise if you roll that now over onto the front it could break the nose and damage anything which we don't really want to do at this stage. This is where the petroleum je jelly comes into use because now this should just pull off really easily. Let's just find the edge of it. Carefully pull it up. centerpiece off. That's the strength now. It should all come away quite easily. We need to reveal the plaster underneath which is covered in the petroleum jelly and pigment. back half. Air bubble there but we can deal with that and some of the plaster soup through there again we can deal with that with files and tools and just well obviously cleaning all this off.